Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the March 2015 reading for Vedic Scorpio. Four, yes, <laughs> Scorpios. Uh, the first card out for you is the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this looks to me like some kind of um, long-held belief you may have had. Is being turned upside down this month or has been recently turned upside down? And I think this is a belief about how you want to proceed with the future. Like what, you know, like it's maybe kind of feels like um, what you always thought you wanted is turning out to not be really what you want. Or you can't see a future with it or the future that you thought there was with whatever path you've been on is just looking all wrong. It's not looking like it's actually going to make you happy. Um... <clears throat> I just kind of get the sense that like your laurels or whatever are kind of um, are going to be found somewhere else. You know, like the thing that's going to make you actually feel strong, that's going to make you feel um, in line with your best self, I think. So it seems like, you know, there may be something that you've been pursuing that you have to kind of rethink this month which would involve unhooking yourself from a commitment that you've made. Um, and that could be a personal commitment, a romantic commitment, or like a job commitment. But something where you said that you were going to like walk into the future with a person or organization or group or whatever, you're trying to figure out how you might kind of get out of that this month. And I don't think that it seems like easy going. I think that the way seems very foggy, but I think you have this sense that it's moving and it's that whatever this thing is, is moving you in the wrong direction. And so you're trying to figure a way out of it, but <clears throat> I think it's maybe difficult because you've put a lot of work into it. Um, Yeah, I feel like you've spent a lot of time preparing for this or working towards it. And then the payoff, now that you kind of have it or now that it's starting to come in, is just not, it's just feeling like it's very small for the amount of, you know, your life that you've laid on the line for this. Um, so I think, yeah, you're trying to find a way out. But, um, yeah, I think you may feel a bit bound this month. And also looking within, though, to try to find um, some fresh waters, a new way forward. I don't think you see that way yet, but I think you're feeling the need for it. And I think you may have some moments of being kind of at war with yourself this month. Um, you're kind of like your higher nature and your lower nature, because I feel like it's your higher nature that's telling you, okay, you got to get out of this, and you got to move towards your real future. And your lower nature is like, yeah, okay, like I hear you, but like, you know, um, this ground right that's here right now under me is solid, and I don't know what the heck is going on over there. It's maybe just walking into quicksand, and, you know, the money's good, or like, you know, I, this is a known quantity, or whatever. You know, I feel like you're going to have that kind of war within you this month of like, okay, but like in the present moment, the material circumstances are working for me. And then this part of you that's like, okay, honey, I hear you saying that. I hear that you need that. But actually you have to rise above that and kind of move forward in this different way that's going to renew you. And that's going to bring you more into line with... Um, your emotional center and your and, and therefore your intuition and kind of gets you going on the right path. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I feel like this kind of emotional knowledge or emotional rebirth may be kind of welling in you this month as you're still kind of going about your business, acting like everything's the same, you know. I feel like you may be keeping it under wraps in this way. Um, but it's kind of building within you and kind of changing your course. 
but again, it feels like you don't quite know how to free yourself from your present circumstances, which could just be like an endless loop, you know? It's like if you stay where you are, it feels like, you know, it feels like something that you could kind of go down the rabbit hole and just like get lost in there, you know? You could definitely stay there forever, but it's not going to be healthy for you. Um, so yeah, you're being urged to move into um, a brighter future, into a union, I think, with someone or something that may involve leaving behind what you've known and what you're comfortable with. But I think that this new thing that I think you're going to have an intuition about, yeah, is uh, and feel passionate about, um, is um, well starred for you and is um, actually the foundation, it's the beginning of a foundation of a home that is um, going to be very rewarding. So, yeah, but I feel like in order to get there, you would have to completely kill like a past conception of yourself. Or else this may be returning to something that you thought you had kind of erased any possibility of a future with. Yeah, I feel like you're being, okay, so I feel like you're being urged to detach yourself from the possibly, like, addictive part of whatever situation you're in that you're beginning to feel like is not right for you, but it seems like there is a part of it that satisfies, like, your ego or that satisfies, like, your uh, need for recognition or satisfies some small part of you. <clears throat> that you can let that small satisfaction get the better of this larger sort of emptiness or this larger sort of lack that this cannot possibly fill. And that, and you could, so you could get trapped there. And I think it's urging you not to get trapped there, but that if you move forward and away from kind of what you have known, what feels solid and secure to you, although it may feel terrifying, <laughs> It's actually very positive. There's a very positive kind of union, reunion, kind of waiting for you um, that is going to lead you to a home that I think you have been looking for. And put your feet more firmly on the ground. Uh, I'll make you a bit more rooted. <clears throat> I think this could get going rather quickly as well. Hmm. For some people, this may be someone, I think I talked about this for Scorpio before, this may be someone or something that has been pursuing you or something. Um or that feels very passionately about you, like a company that's been trying to get you to come work for them, or like a person who kind of is really into you or something, That, but that for whatever reasons you have uh, been moving away from. It may be that you have to kind of go back and admit defeat, but that even if you have to do that, that there's still like a positive new beginning that can happen here. I don't know if that's for everybody. I just feel that sense <clears throat> because of, um, yeah, the figures on this um, Four of Rods are seem to be bringing together this person who is kind of having this new inner sense that's burgeoning, but is keeping a lid on it for now, and this other person who is kind of sitting in an attitude of waiting. Um, and maybe bemoaning or mourning a loss. 
but it feels like these two people can be brought together. But then somewhere in between there is a death or like a painful ending. So for some people, this could be that it's a painful ending to the circumstance that is keeping you away from this or to an old ego conception of yourself. And for some people, I think this represents that there has been a painful split with this person or company or whatever, and that there is the opportunity this month to kind of start anew. <clears throat> or to admit defeat and then start anew. I definitely feel that it's working different ways for different people here. Um, so I think for some people it'll be that this figure is someone that you're gonna leave behind, um, this Queen of Pentacles. So the King of Swords is the person that I'm seeing as being sort of like having this new recognition that's building and building, although they're kind of acting as if everything's normal, but they're kind of, their sword is almost acting like an antenna to feel out what feels right. And they're breaking this old cycle in the interest of creating a new foundation, a new home. And then after that, there's this Ten of Swords. And so I think, so this could be an end to like an association, an end to an association that's been holding you back so that you can move forward. Or it can be uh, that, uh, yeah, you have to admit defeat, you completely kind of kill your ego in a way in order to reunite with this person and have a happy ending with them. So that's kind of what I'm seeing there. It definitely, it's always a challenge for me to get it all out when I see like multiple ways that the cards can be working for people. So I hope that was somewhat clear. Um, I guess it'll vibrate with you if that's what's happening with you. Um, so, and then what I'm seeing is that like, even if you're kind of making moves towards this like new thing, which I think is going to be very positive, I think you still may need to spend some time mourning um, whatever you're leaving behind, this, this solidity, this stability, this thing, this known quantity that makes you feel secure. It seems like that is maybe over this month or ending or whatever. And it is because you need to move on and you're moving toward in the right direction. But you may just need to take some time to kind of honor that because again, this is like not no big deal. This is something that you've been working on, working towards for a long time. You've put a lot of effort into it and it seems like this month you're leaving that behind. But so you may just need to spend some time kind of honoring that. And even as you're honoring it, I think you'll feel like, okay, I'm moving into something better. But I think you may just need to check in there. And yeah, I feel like you are kind of letting down your guard about kind of moving forward, letting down your guard about what the future has to look like or something, um, and more willing to just kind of take what you have, <laughs> even if it's not everything that you had hoped to get out of a certain job, a certain situation or whatever, kind of take that thing and move forward into the future with it, you know, to kind of say this is enough and, you know, give your sort of like war-torn offering, <laughs> you know, your hard-won knowledge, and move forward. Um, and towards, again, I think a union. And I think you may be nervous about it, you know, or may just feel like you are being a bit guarded, but I think you're still willing to kind of move towards this union. It just may be at sort of a slow pace may need to get a slow pace. Um, and I think if this is a past situation that you're returning to, that it's not going to be like it was in the past, that it is um, starting on a different footing, and that I think you're going to work hard to make sure that it stays where you want it to stay. Um, to make sure that the kind of vision that you have of it is maintained even as you're like beginning to take the steps into the reality of it. 
And you may have moments of kind of fear or cowardice or just like feeling like, ah, what have I gotten myself into? But I think that um, you're ultimately going to work very hard to make your vision a reality. Yeah, it has a feeling of like the real work has begun. It's like once you kind of accept this offer or whatever, you know, then the offering part is over with and the actual work has started. So that's kind of what it feels like. It's like the work is starting and you may be having a few moments of being like, ah, is this really a good idea? Was this really what I wanted? But it seems like you're on firm ground. You just need to, you know, it's just a matter of actually like, making it from the vision into the reality. And I see you having a lot of strength um, doing that, even if you may have some doubts. Um, so yeah, that's what I see from March, Scorpio. And thank you so much for watching. Um, please get in touch if you'd like to have a personal reading. February was a bit crazy for me for just outside reasons, but um, I am more available in March if you did contact me in February. So um, yeah, please get in touch if you like. And um, hope you have a good March. Thank you.